Hello whiskey lovers and welcome to another one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings and today I'm trying something from my very own country. I have here a single malt from Belgium. This is the Brakman double cask. Now Brakman distillers in Oudenaarde, they were founded originally in 1918 but it took until 1996 until the brand new distillery was put down in Oudenaarde and is now being run by Philip Brakman, third generation. And I do believe that his son or sons are already joining him. So, you know, succession is assured. This is a single malt from Brackman, uh, bottled at 46% ABV. And this Brackman is a double cask. So it was first matured on first full bourbon casks and then Oloroso sherry casks are involved as well. So double cask, I think this means that they have both single malt that matured on the bourbon casks and single malt that was uh, uh, matured on the Oloroso cask. And then for this bottling, they married them together. That's what I think. It was Philip Brackman who actually introduced the production of single malt at Brackman Distillers before their, their raison d'etre was making Geneva and stuff like that. So let's find out if this Belgian single malt from Brackman is any good. And like I said, bottled at 46% ABV. Belgium has a surprising number of whiskey distilleries, in fact. I have to be honest, not all of them are that good. You know, I'm, I'm not a big fan, Ooh, um, and this is, maybe I shouldn't say this, but I'm not a big fan of Belgian whiskey so far. Maybe it's because I've been spoiled by all those beautiful uh, single malts from Scotland that I'm so very fond of. But nevertheless, it doesn't hurt to be chauvinistic once in a while. So this single malt double cask, Let's give this one a go. It was released in 2023, but it did not get an age statement for the understandable reason that this malt matured, like I said, in first fill bourbon and Oloroso cask, but for between three and six years old. So if they were to put an age statement on it, it would be a three years old, while in fact there is quite a bit of six year old malt in there as well. So there you have it. All right, a beautiful full golden color, the Brackman double cask at 46% ABV on the nose. That nose is slightly musty, with a hint of dried fruit, a lot of vanilla. It's like I'm smelling this whiskey in the attic, if you know what I mean. The fruit mainly translates to peach and apricots, a hint of pineapple in there, and some creme brulee as well. Now, the latter I often have at Brackman uh, 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 releases, that creme brulee. It's quite beautiful, in fact, on the palate. Mm. Nicely oily, mouth filling, notes of vanilla again, vanilla custard in fact, I get some banana as well, some banana ice cream to be more precise, raisins, and that whole is complemented by some honey, freshly sliced young apples, the spiciness does not go unnoticed and it provides a nice spicy moment, some, some warmth by, by cloves, uh, some cinnamon, a bit of pepper in there as well. Quite charming, in fact, on the finish then. Mm -hmm. On the finish as well, relatively long and spicy, with notes of candied fruit, dried fruit at the death. Nice indeed, nice, nice, nice. I think this is, in fact, one of the best things I've tried from Brackman so far and you know as a belgian whiskey it's something to be proud of you know because this this is a delicious homegrown whiskey so to speak a malt whiskey in fact and i think it will also hold its own very well in cocktails and yes you should try the the belgian ver version of, of a boulevardier with this one for example just do it just do it just give it a go and can i also say that i think that 68 euros for this bottle is actually quite affordable I, I remember a few years ago, Brackman, they sold their whiskey in smaller bottles at approximately the same price. And I thought at that point, it's a bit too expensive, but they've, they've, well, they've made it work. I was going to say they came to their senses, but they've made it work that they are now able to release whiskey in 70 centiliter bottles at a reasonable, affordable price. So yeah, uh, 
great stuff. And I would like to give a shout out to Peter Jan Brakman, one of the sons of Philip, because he pointed this bottle out to me and he sent it to me and said, Mark, you should need to, you should try this and talk about it for your fellow whiskey enthusiasts. So Peter Jan, thank you so much. Uh, this is for you, sir. And uh, that's all for this whiskey rambling. And I hope to see it one of Mark's whiskey ramblings real soon. And until then, may the Belgian malt be with you. Bye-bye.